top story. The Northwestern State community is in mourning today following the tragic and deadly shooting overnight of Demons football player Ronald Caldwell. That shooting took place at the Quad Apartment Complex shortly after 1 a.m. across the street from the campus. Dylan Domingue has been following the latest and joins me in the studio with more on that. Dylan. Yeah, Brooks. So I spoke to several students today on campus who live in that apartment complex. They did ask to remain off camera, but they said they're still shaking up after waking up to the sound of gunshots early this morning and learning that Caldwell had been killed. They told me that they had just seen Caldwell a few days prior, full of life, and he was even at the team's football practice the day before he was killed. Now, at this point, we're still trying to gather more information from the Natchitoches Police Department on what led to the shooting near campus. What we do know is that MPD arrived at the scene on University Parkway after reports of gunshots. There, they found the 21-year-old Caldwell who had been shot multiple times and he died at the scene. The investigation does continue. No arrests have been made as of now and police have not released any suspect information in connection to the shooting. We take every every call seriously, but with it being you know that close to campus and you know I went to Northwestern myself, it, it, it kind of hits home, you know, especially when it's a football player and a you know a student. Um, but usually when that happens, we have our university police, they also respond, our sheriff's deputies respond, uh, state police respond, and of course we respond. So there's a heavy police presence in that area. Now we also received these statements from the school today. The first coming from Northwestern State head football coach Brad Laird. He said in parts, the Northwestern State family has suffered a tremendous loss. Ronnie Caldwell was a young man who had a bright future ahead of him on or off the football field. He was our voice in the locker room. When Ronnie spoke, others listened. The respect our football team had for Ronnie was evident. We also heard tonight from Northwestern State's president, Dr. Marcus Jones. He said, during these difficult times, I extend my deepest condolences and offer my prayers to Ronnie's family and friends. The entire NSU community shares in your grief and sorrow. Counseling and support services are available to all students, faculty and staff who may need them. Now, Caldwell was a junior safety and business administration major at Northwestern State. Caldwell, there you see number 23, played in all 11 games for the team last year while starting 10 of them. He had yet to play in a game this season because of an injury he sustained in preseason. But Caldwell continued to travel with the team, serving as a defensive assistant coach. The rest of the team was briefed about the loss of their teammate this morning, and they decided to cancel their upcoming football game schedule for this Saturday in Thibodeau against Nichols State. Now, Northwestern State does have five games remaining on their schedule, but Athletic Director Kevin Boschen said decisions regarding the rest of those games will be made as the season progresses. Now, as far as the investigation goes, if anyone has more information on Caldwell's death, they're asked to contact the Natchitoches Police Department.